Hi, Z Erectors again. I'm still experimenting around. I uh, um, add a few more things to my little uh, test lab here, I guess you can call it. But um, yeah, I went back with the original tube design when I originally started working on. And I got this at a. Uh, I forget what the gas spacing is. I got my papers here. But, uh, doing pretty good on this. Uh, I got these. I couldn't get them tuned to the same pitch as far as hitting them with a, uh, you know, a little piece of metal. But I, I left the top wide open and I have the bottom, uh, the rubbers on the bottom. So these ring just like a bell when you hit them. So I thought that'd be interesting to try. I have they're six and a half inch, uh, inch and a half diameter. You know, hit them with some uh, bolts here. Looks like it does pretty well. It really takes off. Yeah, stop it. That little mark here is just a, a one liter mark. And I stop here a little bit and I hit it again. But I like the production that's putting out. And let's see, I got my little foot thrall control and 24 volts, one cell. And about it's roughly about six amps. I'm pretty happy with that. And I guess I didn't put that on yet. It's going pretty good. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna put a series of these together. See what they do. This is about maybe four to five drops of sodium hydroxide. And that's all it takes. Any more than that, the amps just go like crazy. So I'll hit it again here. Just boom. Yeah. Lots of little bubbles though. I mean, there's some a few bigger ones in there, but I've noticed with some of my different cells, sometimes the snap sounds better on some. I mean, it's building gas in the chamber because it just, the whole thing like ignites this poop. But not bad. I mean, these bubbles really, really explode for just, for said tiny. I probably got water on my igniter. Pretty cool. Yeah, the plate gap was 564. Just, just, a, just a hair more than a 16th. Yeah, it's pretty close. Um, I'd like to get it closer, but I just think it's going to be a little bit of problems. And I've had a lot of questions on this uh, heat exchanger I built on this older cell I had uh, it's a 3 inch on the inside had 21 plates uh, jammed in there at a 30 second gap each uh, 2 and 3 quarter inch wide plates and I made them pretty long but I really don't think they need to be that long yeah pretty simple just this, this is for water in and water out the bottom. Right there it is. It's completely separate from the inside cell. This four inch and three inch on the inside. And it cools it, but I really think the inside uh, this is schedule 40, schedule 40 on the inside. I think it should be a lighter schedule on the inside. So the heat transfer from the water coming in here would work a lot better in here. Schedule 40 is a huge insulator. 
so that's that and um, I've been kind of going off as uh, Dave Lawton's design a little bit uh, I just he has a 6 tube configuration here uh, I think it's the same way it's mounted um, I really didn't care for it down here the way these are well, I can't even see my cursor but uh, yeah this has a plate coming up here holding it it has, has this he has it siliconed around and then the inner tubes coming down with this bolted to it and then the top has the, the rubber washers in the top so this thing can't really shake it's it's a solid uh, mass put together but a uh, very good design though he, he great pioneer but um, that's where I'm at right now okay thanks bye